Hey, what's up, man? It's Rashad. Back at it again. Fam is here. Tony, yo. We are here what's to up? talk about the book of Boba Fett and everything that happened. So we hadn't talked about this. We've just been text back and forth, but no real, no real discussion. So in, in very vague texts that we've given each other, just like, <laughs> yo, for real. That's all, you know. Yeah. It's so, crazy. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so what are your what overall thoughts, of course, first? Overall thoughts. Um, I want to call this the Book of Boba Fett slash Mandalorian season 2.5. True. Very true. 2.5. Um, I've been seeing a lot of people who were like, felt underwhelmed with, with the series. I like, hey, man, this series, it gave me what I wanted. But I think what happened is, you know, fanboys, and I hate to say that because I sometimes feel like a fanboy. You know what I'm saying, fanboy, because we grew up into this. Yeah, but you have, stuff. right, but, you know, you you have a certain sect of fanboys who, who don't believe in evolution and things evolving, you know. I thought the series was pretty good for the most part, you know, not fantastic not you know not fantastic not horrible but i think it was good you know for for what it for what it was i mean long story short with the character boba fett it was always a mystery about him you never you, there was never really any history about boba fett i think in the, in the entire original series he had what two lines if if that in the entire like original yeah. the original series like two lines on, on top of that and, I, and they were the most like simple simple lines and then and then yeah and even in return to jedi I mean, he, he didn't have any lines you just heard ah, a scream when he fell into the you know saying when he fell into the sarlacc pit um then you know it was always legends of what boba fett was but nobody really knew but then you know of course uh all powerful george lucas you know gave us the prequels where you got to see who Django Fett was and you saw that Boba Fett, oh, Boba Fett wasn't just a, he was a clone of Django Fett, you know, yeah. of Django Fett. And he was actually an untampered, you know, clone of Django Fett. And it was still kind of mystery about Boba Fett. You know, you dare a legend stuff where Boba Fett was just a stone cold killer and everything like that. And there were people I know for the series who were very upset. Oh, this isn't my Boba Fett. My Boba Fett is a stone cold killer. He's, he's stoic, he's this and that. And blah blah blah, and I'm like, I get it, dude. But I said you're missing the point of, I think you're missing the point of the series where he realized, you know, like, hey, I'm tired of doing stuff for other people. I want to do my own thing. And then you know, him surviving the Sarlacc pit, living amongst the sand people, realizing what I guess a family, a tribe is, and he started to care. Were there times that I think he was a little bit too soft? Yeah, I think there were times I was like, yo, man, just, you know, take that rocket on your back and send them and send them to the wheels, yo, for real. Like they or else, you know, use that knee, that knee rocket or something on these cats. Because some 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 people were kind of like fronting, you know, fronting. I think you and me both said in one of our texts like, yo, I'm getting tired of people kind of hoeing Boba Fett. Like, yeah, like, for like, real. like, like, like he not that dude, like. You know what I'm saying? They're acting like he's not that dude, but he was trying to show, he's kind of trying to show restraint. But as far as a series, like I said, I think it was pretty cool. Gave us a lot of fan service. A lot of fan service. Like, um, um, we'll, we'll get into, you know, more into the characters and stuff, but like, bringing in Black Chrysanthemum. Never would have thought I would have seen Black Chrysanthemum in, you know what I'm saying? Or, nah. Yeah, never would have thought I would have saw that. You know, bringing you know, bringing back Cad Bane. Sorry if you haven't seen it. It happened. Yo. Cad Bane, bringing back Cad Bane. That was like a, that was a crazy to... moment. I said, "Yo, I know they. I know this man in his in his silhouette in his desert ain't gonna be Cad Bane." I know. I know. When I saw, I saw this. I was like, "Who? Did, I was like, who this coming?" I said, and "Yo, I said, I know. Got, I said, I know it's not Cad Bane." It was the second time they because the first time you look, you still couldn't really tell. And it was at the, they had a close up on Cal Vance's face. Mm -hmm. and then when he looked again, I said, "Oh no, they didn't." I said, "Oh no, 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 no!" I said, "Oh no, they didn't." And then as it got closer, you saw the hat. I said, "Oh." I and said, then "Yo, I was they like, doing it. They gonna said, do it. it." And then I was like, 
I got to see what he looks like. That's how I was like, what is he going to look like? So legit. So legit. So legit. That, and then, of course, you know, the whole, you know, the whole Luke Skywalker coming back with, you know, that's the part where I said was the Mandalorian season 2.5 of it, you know, bringing Luke back, showing the training of, of Grogu. Also, for y'all that didn't know, when they did the season finale of Mandalorian um, season two, when they brought Luke back, you know, there were some people that was like, so glad to see it. The deep fake was kind of eh, Ooh, not it that terrible. great. It, it, was, it, it was, was, it was terrible. There was a guy on YouTube who made a video. I know, with a better, yeah, and they and hired they your hired boy. Him. <laughs> they hired him. Like, and it was crazy because, like, I remember that when I was watching. I was like, "Yo, yeah. they hired you from YouTube. Who did the deep fake?" Yeah, they hired him, and they made it look so much more better. They did. They did a whole lot of things to kind of, to kind of help out with the whole with you know the mouth because the deep fake yeah. hard part is the mouth. Did a lot of things where you know you didn't see Luke mouth certain vowels and stuff he didn't say yeah but it was great then you bring back ahsoka and then you know it was you know that was pretty cool to you know say pretty cool to see that but yeah i give i give the overall show uh i give it a b b minus maybe b b minus yeah that's 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 kind of how i feel because it's it's really it, it, it was really disjointed but yeah. it, it it was like, yo, we're going to give you all this stuff and we're going to make you like it. But you're going to feel a certain way about it. And right. we don't care. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, that's really right. what it's like. Because when we got to episode five and six, when we see the Mandalorian and he goes mm-hmm. back to um to find, you know, the armorer and um and past Vizsla, mm-hmm. like it the, the story straight up shifts like it's like yeah. yo like why why are you here you know what i'm saying like why are we right. here in this place and it's 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 really it was really even the episode itself was like yo the way it started off the tone was totally different you know what i'm saying even how it looks cinematically was different than uh-huh. what it was before because bryce dallas howard directed that episode you know what i'm saying yeah. so yeah it it was totally different. Like so, even going back to the first three, first two or three episodes when we got Boba, back to tank Boba, flashback Boba when he was doing that, like all this stuff was it was really good. Like I, I, yes. like, I was like I enjoyed it. Yeah, a lot of people were just was like yo, like I don't understand why I got his flashbacks. Like fam, like, that's the point. We we're trying to yeah. conceptualize who Boba is. Character um, building, people. Character like, building. We, we don't know who, <laughs> like, we haven't, like, we have what we think we, he is, but we don't know who he is. Exactly. So that, that whole thing of him, especially with building the mythology around the Tuscans and, and mm-hmm. humanizing them and essentially yeah. just making them the um, the aboriginal or the, the, the native people in Star Wars is smart. both um, smart and tragic at the same time because that's that's how you know that's how white people be doing you know what I'm saying they would, be colonizing so I would, I would say this now it seems like it's almost like a a slur to call them sand people yeah that's 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 what they that's what the yeah. show made yeah. made us do it made us yeah. shift how we think about it. yeah from calling people. them from calling them sand people to Tuscan, you know, said to Tuscan Raiders. That's you know that that's what they are, the Tuscan Raiders. You know, it 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 humanized them, and you realize that they aren't just these mindless barbarians out here just rah, doing stuff. No, nah, because 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 Mando, um, season two, um, the first episode taught us that. Yes, because Mando was exactly. talking to him. He was doing yeah. the whole sign language thing with them, and they cooperated mm-hmm. and helped kill the um the, um, the, the dragon. dragon. Yeah. So like that. So that part of it was like, oh man, that's crazy. And then we got to actually get even deeper to them, to their, to their whole like you know, um, their whole belief system and their whole mysticism mm-hmm. and spirituality and the whole thing, mm-hmm. and, and the gaffy stick and all that. Like so that was like really like I like I actually really enjoyed yeah. all of that. And even the fact that Boba had to essentially humble himself mm-hmm. to be a part of something because he was never a part of anything because even when he yeah. was rolling with Cad Bane and the size of interest and all of them like they didn't care about nobody they was all for self anyway and even right. Cad Bane alluded that before um before um Boba sticks him was like yo you gotta yeah. look out for yourself yeah. so like so that whole that whole aspect of his life 
if you didn't see Clone Wars, you know what I'm saying? Like you would not know that he was a kid. He was mm -hmm. he was like trained to be and all that. Like you would not know if you didn't watch a cartoon series. You know what I'm saying? Right. All the mythology right. is not is not there. And, and they didn't explain it either. Mm -hmm. So they had to let, you know, at least for the past five years or so, wh yeah. where he's been and what he's been doing and what his current mindset is. His current mindset is, is yo, know, like, I really want Tatooine to be a vibrant place, free of all this nonsense. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that was really his motivation, even if it wasn't too clear, because to be honest, it wasn't in the beginning. Right. Like, we were like, why does he want to be a crime lord? You know what I'm saying? Because even though he doesn't want to do all the crime lord stuff. Right. And 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 um and um Finnick is like fam like let's eat the food y'all like, that's why like, yeah like, what are you doing right. we got credits <laughs> like, <Yeah>. <laughs> we rich out here like why are we acting like like like, like, like we not rich and right he's like, nah yo like it's not really about that and she's like man it is about that you know what I'm saying right. I'm tired of I'm tired of running and assassinating people right <laughs> so yeah and I mean even even in that like you said like if you never saw Clone Wars you never saw young boba you never saw his development and what he came from you know what i'm saying to understand why he was you know what i'm saying the way he was even in the duel that he had in the finale with cad bane cad bane was trying to go to him because he knew he had, knew how to go to him and he said then was like yo i'm not a little boy no more like not yeah. like like not like yeah you helped train me because of my dad because my dad trained you bro but no, nah, man, I ain't no little boy no more. Like we're not gonna do this old man type stuff or whatever. You know? uh -huh. So you know, it's 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 what you it's it's like you know, knowing somebody when in in a previous time in your life, and they know the buttons to, to push to kind of like set you off. Yeah. When when other people see you and they don't know that you know, say they always see you as a certain type of way, and they don't you know, saying they don't like, dang, you can't can't get to this guy, or whatever. And you, you know, that was just not not to say smart, but that was just it's it's like boxers and fighters and stuff like that. You get in the other person's head, and the person that's the wildest fighter usually loses because they lose control. That's why he did that right before their little duel. He sat there and was like, "Yeah, it won't them Nikto bikers that killed the. It was the Pikes that did it, and you know it was the Pikes that did it like that, like that. And you know, you saw Boba like." He was about to go to that place. It is like, hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. She was like, yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait it's a regroup, yo. <laughs> you, you getting emotional out here. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? So. Which is definitely, like, like still keeping in line with the um, with the mythos of Star Wars is, like, not letting your emotions overrun you, which is very, mm -hmm. very Jedi thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it, 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 like, people don't want to, don't want to acknowledge the the work that that went into this and just want to mm -hmm. kind of like crap on the stuff that they didn't like and right. everything didn't work for me but like I, I can't like I can't view like I I don't watch things that I don't like you know what I'm saying because I don't have time so I'm not gonna be sitting here and be upset about some stuff that I didn't like when I don't 100 like anything as a person you know what I'm saying like <laughs> right, I mean, you know, right I'm not gonna sit there and watch. 11 hours of, of TV that I don't like. Like, that doesn't make sense to me. Like, hate right. watching? Like, where's your life, man? Like, do something yeah. better with your time. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Boba Fett, right? But the thing that I like most about the, the book of Boba Fett has to be the way that they reinvented him. I know that was mm -hmm. the big, biggest point of contention, but I like how yeah. Boba's like, man, like, you know, man's like 60 years old. Like, yeah. Why why do you think that this this grown old man is gonna be out here trying to kill a bunch of people? Like he, like yo, right. he's done with that. He's like, man, like I'm just really trying to trying to keep the peace. You know what I'm saying? Cause even yeah. when in parallel from the from the first to the last episode where he was walking through and wasn't mm -hmm. nobody showing him no love. Yeah. And then when he had the end of the at the end of the season, everybody showing love and he and it hurt him so bad because he's old, his shoulder hurt. He ain't been in the back to second yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Kyle Vanthen right. there, that gone, Cassandra was in there, and he's right. waving at people. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So that that parallel of you just a bounty hunter to now you're an actual, I mean, to be honest, he's like a prime minister now. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because he's not a really a crime lord, because he's trying to eradicate crime. So there's a right. there's a, a distinct difference of of how he wants to to rule and and kind of um, you know, set the course of action on Tatooine now.
Did you notice one line that he said, though, after that? And it made me think, like, well, is he going to go back to his old ways? Because he said at the end of he was, like, talking to Finnick and they're walking the street. He was like, I don't think this is us. Did you notice when he – you notice when he, he said that? He says, I don't think this is us. And I think – and when he said that, I was like, I think that kind of uh, – when Cad Bane was, like, kind of talking to him, like, what's your angle like why are you doing you know why are you doing this type that you i know how you are just like when when um cad bane first popped up and he and Cobb vanth and he was just like boba fett is a merciless killer <laughs> like, who, work, who worked for the who empire for the, who, worked for, <laughs> who worked for the empire like he was like you like like you putting your faith in this like like i like i know what this dude like i know what this dude is and like he even kind of brought that back to his attention when they had their little duel at the end. And, and I w- made me wonder, like, well, in season two is, I said, when they, you know, I was wondering, I waited for the, um, you know, the post credit scene where, you know, Kyle Banff was in the back of the tank and then Thundercat was, you know, about to hook him up and stuff. I said, at first I was like, <laughs> at, first I, at first I was like, yo, did he save Cad Bane? Like he had a soft spot for Cad, but I was like, oh no, that's, Oh, dude, I was like, well, that's right, because he didn't really die. He shot him in the shoulder. So I said, that shoulder shot shouldn't have, shouldn't have killed him. So nah, I said, well. They was getting stints and med packs for that man. Right. So I was like, so is are they, is he maybe healing him up to be like, hey, he runs it and he goes back to, you know what I'm saying, his old way. I don't want like, to I don't, I like, I don't, I, I don't wanna, I don't I don't wanna so. believe that. And I, don't also, believe and I also think Cad Bane is still alive, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think he, I think he is, too. I think he, Definitely I think so he hurt. You heard the little beeping thing going. Ain't his. no, ain't no way, ain't ain't no way that they, that they gonna kill him off in two appearances in live action. Yeah, um, as far as that, their duel because I tried to hold off on it. I thought it was cool, little little. I guess you could say action wise underwhelming, but it was a story behind it. You, I think it was a story yeah. behind it. It was because it was. It, it kind of reminded me of when. Um, the last duel between Obi Wan and um and Darth Maul. Yeah, you know what I'm saying because it's again it's Star Wars. It's like poetry right. rhymes. So right. there's, so there's the parallel like, yo, we've been doing this so many times, and like yeah. we know both know each other, mm-hmm. and now I'm gonna use what you think you know against me against you, and that's right. what Obi Wan did to Darth, and that's what he did to him because yeah. he didn't Cause realize like, yo, like. I ain't gonna use these guns. Like I'm gonna have to use what I know. You don't know I know about this gaffy stick. Like you don't right. know. You don't know nothing about the Tuscan Raider in me. You know right. What I'm saying? Right. Like I've been. Like I've been. I've been there. I've been on my. I, you know, <laughs> I found the water in, in, in right in the desert and, and, and got my stick off of it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I so, had to so. lift it up my nose, bro. Uh, you know, <laughs> I had to lift it up my nose. I know, bro. One thing I wanted to see, and with 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 that dealing with the um Tuscan Raiders. I want to see them without their mask, for one thing. I yeah, think I did too. I, went, I was like, are we going to see it? Are we going to see nah. it? And then number two, what happened to the female one who trained him? Because her body wasn't amongst them. Hers and the little kid. Uh, hers and that kid body yeah, wasn't amongst them. Oh, man. That's the, and, that's, and that's my one gripe. Right, right. Is I feel like them killing I, f- I feel like there, there, there could have been a way to incorporate the Tuscan Raiders in the finale so we can actually have because there were so many like disparate tribes of, of Tuscans so if he's mm-hmm. going to be the one ruling he understands the culture you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. he could have easily been the one to kind of oh, what's I'm looking for here um galvanize everybody Mm-hmm. And then they could have been fighting in the end too. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it, there, because there was a for me that was the only really missed opportunity. Because they played it well. Yeah. Like, I liked it all that stuff, but like killing them all off as just yeah. a as a plot point is yeah. very tropey. But when it comes yeah. to like you know the whole cowboys and and and, and natives thing, and I don't yeah. really that's the part that I didn't like because I felt they could have used their mythology. And just made them more, made them less than just like again, not the sand people, but the Tuscans, and made them back in society on Tatooine as like recognizable and a part of the whole ecosystem. You know what it's I'm saying? Right. Because or, that or whole, economy. The least. whole thing killing them off was kind of last samurai-ish. If you ever <laughs> seen the movie The Last Samurai, 
or whatever. And, you know, they had the big ballot and all the samurai dad is set for kids or whatever back in their little village. And and that's what it felt like. You know, he learned he learned the ways of the Tuscan Raiders, learned their, you know, what I'm saying their ceremonial, you know, gaffy stick kata type thing yeah, or very, whatever. Very, and, very, very dances with wolves, so, you know, yeah. very, yeah. Um, you know, yeah. whatever white savior trope. You just just boba's not white. That's, yeah, that's right. The, that's the only. But it's, we, it's still. But it's still the same. Yeah, it's, it's still the same thing though. Yeah, yeah. That's the that's the that's the only real grip I have with that. But everything else, like I was pretty on board with. What's the um? What was your favorite part? My favorite part. Oh man. Um. Minus the obvious stuff, you know, the obvious stuff. My favorite parts were, of, I, I did appreciate the flashbacks, especially how he escaped the Sarlacc, because that was always a thing. How did he get out, you know what I'm saying? Yo. See, you know what I'm saying? The flashbacks with the Tuscan Raiders. It, it, and then, I think my favorite parts were kind of, and it's so cliche, were kind of like the fan service type stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, when Black Chrysanthemum <sighs> came from around that corner from the twins, I said, oh, oh. Holy, you know, I was like, oh, I was like, is this who I think it is? And, and I was like, it is him. It's, it's the boy in black presented for this. I was so excited for that. You know, I just thought that that was just like, they doing this. I got a little nervous at first after, you know, when he came in, he tried to assassinate Boba and then they subdued him and, and everything. I was like, oh, dang. They, and he let him go and stuff. They're like, do what you want with the wiki and stuff. I was like, Yo, that's it. I said, we ain't gonna see no more a black presentative over there. And I was like, well, maybe they'll bring him back for I said, they're definitely gonna have to bring him back for the prequel to Obi-Wan series because there is something that happens. That's that's how Black Chrysanthemum got that star, yeah. you know, from Obi. But then when he came back and he was in the he was in that little bar and he he snapped just for no tag on, he just snapped and everything. I was like, all right, cool. And then we see that Black Chrysanthemum is a G. We saw him get overtaken, and the next thing you know, five minutes later, you see him slinging Trandoshans and stuff down the aisle. Now, for y'all who don't really understand Black Chrysanthemum, and you're saying to yourself, well, how the hell did he even survive? He was getting stabbed, shot. Black Chrysanthemum is not your normal Wookiee. First of all, he come from um, Kashyyyk, but he was actually um, he was actually Banned from Kashyyyk, um, exiled from Kashyyyk because he did something. It never really came out what happened. Some people think that he did the one thing that they say is the most unfor- unforgivable thing that a Wookiee could do, and that's withdraw their claws. Because people don't know that Wookiees have claws, and they say, like, withdrawing your claws out of anger in the Wookiee culture is like, Mm-mm. that's like the worst thing you ever do. So that. He volunteered himself towards some Trandoshans to become a pit fighter to go to this these group these brothers who were and, and this is like in the comics you can find this and these these brothers who trained people to be you know what I'm saying train these warriors to become pit fight become pit I keep hearing a beeping sound I think it's out of the apartment but oh that's what I'm like the heck is that good? yeah they coming beeping. for you <laughs> right you know what I'm saying. But the thing is why he survived is he has so many cybernetic enhancing that you don't know about. Like you saw the little brass knuckles he had and everything, but his hands are already, they like laced, they did a Wolverine to him. They laced his bones with metal. So when he punched people's stuff, and then they gave him other cybernetic enhancements throughout his body and stuff. So he's not like a full cyborg, but he has little things to help him out where he could last. And that's why he became like the greatest like, um, greatest like battle person, you know, gladiator out there. That's why Boba Fett said his thing to us, like, oh, you got your gladiator here, but they knew each other beforehand because they used to work together and be kind of cool. So I thought that was really dope with that. And, you know, I, I was I was a little disappointed because I wanted the, um, the huts to be a little bit more prevalent in this, you know. Yeah. I wanted the huts to be a little bit more prevalent in this or whatever, but it was cool to see some more huts. It was good to see some huts. Like I was, I was real surprised to see some. That it was like you know, because you think about in live in live action, we've only seen before the twins came. We only seen two huts, which is Jabba and um Gordella, the hut hut from um Phantom Menace or whatever. But 
it was cool to, it was cool to see that uh the biggest fan service was of course the training of luke and grogu yeah the luke and grogu it was cool to see the building of the temple that eventually does burn down <laughs> i mean yes people were wondering yes they it was, i've seen yes that was the temple that you know ben ben solo aka kylo ren and the other rogue jedi that he brought along with him they yeah it was, that, yeah it was, really was just you know snoke which was really just Palpatine, right but, you know, yeah yeah pa- whatever we call him uh, uh Dar- Darth Snokius. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> or what, or no, whatever. So it was cool to see that. And then to see the train and then to see like the little training with Grogu and Luke. And you saw a lot of Empire Strikes Back, you know, kind of throwbacks to that. A lot that. of nods to that. A lot, a lot of, of nods. To, a lot of nods to that. I think it was one thing I thought, I was like, yo, that's such a, a jerk move, Luke, when they had the training ball throw up. And yeah, I'm like, yo, Luke, you had a lightsaber when they when Obi Wan first did it. You just go sit there, and the first shot, Grogu got flung back like the head. Yeah, I was like, dang, it was funny, yo, because like, because like Grogu thought it was a ball. He's like, oh, shit, you play? He said, oh, you want to play? He was like, no, 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 I'm gonna activate it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. But dang. it was so, but it was so cool to see Grogu kind of like developing his skills because you, everyone, like I said, you look at Grogu and be like, oh, he's a baby, but you really forget he's 50 years old. And that he actually trained. He was he's the same age as Anakin, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they yeah, they're the same age. He's the same age as Anakin, you know, even Anakin's gone their same age, and they were starting to train him back, you know, saying back back then. I love the flashback of Order 66. I love that so much, but I'm still I still was a little hurt. Like, who saved him? Who yeah, like they holding like they really holding on to that. They they holding they holding down to that like God's unchanging hand, man. Like they, yeah, <laughs> that's funny, yo. They really <laughs> like between between that and I say probably like my favorite part is to be honest, and this is not even got really nothing to do with the whole series. My favorite mm-hmm. part is Ahsoka because yeah. I absolutely love Rosara Dawson, the casting of it. Mm-hmm. How she is embodying the character of Ahsoka, being like mm-hmm. like the older sage, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, wise, like not really a Jedi, but we not really mm-hmm. evil either. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that, like that, that space that Ahsoka is in, in, in the timeline right now is mm-hmm. I can't like, I mean, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm hyper about Obi-Wan. I'm cool with Andor, but I am really excited about the Ahsoka series. Like I'm like that's what I am waiting for. I know that's I can't I cannot wait for that. <laughs> right. Like I, I like that's 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 what made me even more excited. I saw it. Like, oh, some Ahsoka's here. All right. Like so, one thing I always wanted was like when they start doing this stuff. I said, I wonder did Luke and Ahsoka ever cross paths in this crew? And all of a sudden, you just get man. What are you doing here? I'm a friend of the family. I said, <laughs> oh. Oh, like, just, just like, 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 how they, like, how they, like, how they write for her is like, it's like, it's, it's pitch perfect because, yeah. could you, could you, do you understand? Okay. Do you understand what they're doing with Ahsoka, right? Yeah. Ahsoka yeah. is essentially um, the night nurse from, from the Defender series on Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. So she's going to be hopping at everything. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, like it's so good, yo. Like, I'm so she, like she's I'm so there, happy. and you're never there. You, she's there and everywhere. Put it like that. She's everywhere, and you're never there. Simple as that. That's what. That's what it is. I, I, I'm, I'm like this. I'm a little surprised that they, they popped it up that quick. Me too. Still, I was like, oh snap. <laughs> I'm still, but I'm still here for it, yo. I, I am, I am here for. It. I love too how Mando was just like, I thought you said you wouldn't train them. She says I'm not training. She was like, I got somebody who. Who who it is, but then too, I like how she looked at Lucas said so much like your father. You know, just just seeing little things in him to let him like you're like your father, but don't don't go down that you know what I'm saying go down that path, go down that path. And I think mm-hmm. Luke Luke almost did go down that path and return to Jedi. People, if you don't know Star Wars fan, yes, Luke did turn to the dark side to beat Darth Vader in Return of the Jedi, and then he snapped out of it when he saw he cut his. 
he cut Vader's slash Anakin's hand off himself. But I just thought that that stuff was cool. I know this is I know this is a correlation that you noticed. I I, I never talked to you about it. I said, I'm gonna wait to talk to you about it when we do this and record this. The scene when Luke gave Yoda the choice, not Yoda, excuse me, Grogu the choice, that was basically picked up from Shogun Assassin. Yeah. Shogun yeah. Assassin. It, 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 but not in the way, but it's the same. And Shogun Assassin, one of the greatest kung fu flicks of all time, Shogun Assassin was there. He had his son. He said, choose the ball, you join your mother. <laughs> choose the sword. The sword. <laughs> then you join me. He gave Grogu he says, choose the he says, choose this this the armor, and you go back to you know say you go back <laughs> to the Mandalorian. He says, This here's a lightsaber. This is a lightsaber of species like you, Yoda. I think they're trying to lean into saying that Grogu is Yoda's son. I don't, I, 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 I don't, I don't know. It, like, it's like this. They're gonna, like, they're not. I don't, I don't see Lucas, the Lucas Film Group, explaining that species ever. Like, I don't, like, they don't have a reason to. The, yeah. the ambiguity behind that species. We've only most, seen three. We've only seen three now. Yoda, don't, Yaddle. Don't want nobody know what Yaddle is right now. Anyway, like, it's just like she just disappeared yeah. basically. Yeah. So. I, I don't know in legends. I don't know. That's what I'm happened. saying. I'm talking about like in, said, in, in, in canon now. Don't, in canon, we don't missing. know. In legends, she died trying to save one of the younglings yeah, or something like yeah, that. Back, yeah. yeah, but we don't know. Like you said, we don't know, I don't she, know what she is right now. So like, I, I don't I don't really I don't know how that's gonna work. Like it's it's yeah. it's, it's it's interesting. I, but yeah. hmm. and 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 this is the issue when it comes to the book of Boba Fett, because we can talk about two episodes like all the episodes you know what i'm saying they ain't got nothing to do with boba and yeah. that's that's kind of the the, the disconnect when, yeah. when it came to that series but like again yeah. they gave you so much like you you didn't even care like for real for real like unless you just want to be nitpicky yeah, but right. like i was like yo this is it's, it's they really did a really good job of just seeding a bunch of stuff mm-hmm. with 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 just basically an hour and 20 minutes of, yeah. of, 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 of TV, which is like, you know, it ain't much. It's, they yeah. really seeded a lot of stuff for the series coming up. And I just, man, I can't wait. I really, like, I cannot wait. Because Boba, not Boba Fett, but um, Kenobi comes May... 25th. 25th. And then after Kenobi, it's Andor. Andor. Yeah. And yeah. then what probably by the end of the year maybe um mando season three, season three. yeah it's mando see mando season three or what you know what i'm saying or whatever because yeah, they just finished filming that i think yeah um back with the mando stuff i thought you know it's interesting that <sighs> feloni and, and favreau are fantastic <laughs> um god they are how like you didn't know, you knew who the armorer was. You know, you didn't really get a name for it, but you just got the armor. And, you know, with the other, you, you, he was just known as the, the heavy duty Mandalorian or whatever. And then when they said his name, his name was Vizsla, I said, oh, oh shoot. I said, oh, God. And then you say, the thing is, it was, oh, having that helmet on, that acting with that helmet, having him look at that, the dark saber, like, that's my birthright. You know, mm-hmm. type type thing like that, and you're just like, hmm. And then when you had the armorer telling the story of you know the dark saber and talking uh, talking about how the curse that Bo-Katan is a, is <laughs> is a tale of a, <laughs> of how, what happens when you don't rightfully earn. I was like, and then when they show the bombing of Mandalore, I was, was like, crazy. The night of a thousand tears. I was like, I yo. Said, the right, I, just went scorched earth on them, yo. Right, just a bunch of bombers and just bombed the de- bombed the planet. That's like, you know what we are gonna do, man. Let's 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 go. We we um, we y'all we, man, we, y'all we, y'all we, man the we y'all man the the <laughs> We know what y'all can do. We know what y'all can do through history. Y'all want to get out of hand? <laughs> Got some for y'all. 
drop bombs on them or whatever. It did had the um, it did had the droids come through like turbo, looking like the T one thousand is just yes, it, just murking every. Oh my god! The straight T two scene, y'all. T two scene, and, and 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 then the story about the dark saber. How, like I said, where Mando was trapped swing. He was like, God is so heavy to swing. Or what you know, whatever, and you know, she's telling him, "You got to become one with it if it's meant for you." Type stuff like that, yeah. and it made me go back to Rebels when Sabine, when Sabine had, had it, and Sabine was and like, she, "Yo, it's heavy, it's heavy." And then and she then, started and, like, and, she "Yeah," and then Kanan was like, "Yo, you guys, you still got to connect with 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 with, with, with the Kyber in it. You gotta you gotta yeah. connect with the sword." She's like, "Okay, I get it." And then she's like, "I say, yo, I say, yo, they." Killing yeah. it, with the, killing it with the connections, yo. So I'm wondering how Mando's going to do this. You know, is maybe he go back to Luke? You know, what I'm saying in the seas. You know, what I'm saying by this time you get back to Luke. Luke got a couple of more Bruh, kids. I don't, I don't, I don't think it's gonna be Luke, man. They better not bring Luke in season three. Uh, he need to stay where, where, where he need to stay where the hell he need to be. I, he yeah. can't. Yeah. I really like, 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 I, like I really think that he's gonna just eventually just figure it out on his own like he i feel like he's had he's gonna have enough because even when he was using it in defense of a, of like of the people and grogu and stuff yeah. like he was he was willing it he wasn't like laboring yeah, so, yeah. once he kind of gets that like in his mind like okay i gotta really center myself and focus because think about it okay back to mando season one right mm-hmm. mando was like there was a point where he was failing upwards a lot like he was like haphazard he was falling out of the sky with his raggedy ship. Like he was like doing some cool stuff, but like he he ain't polished at all. So this is so like he was like I think we forget that. Oh man, that's so cool, man. No, nah, he was a klutz. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like he was messing yeah. up a lot. So yeah. there's so there's a lot of that that he has to kind of reckon and also like polish himself. And now he has to gain a new skill with actually being a, like a like like a, like a lightsaber wielder. So yeah, 